So, welcome back to another fun conventional, and this time we are going to be looking at the slow bros. Uh, the Galarian slow bro got a lot of hype with the quick draw. I was not happy when I saw that ability at all. And the fact that it's 30%, even better than just quick claw. Yeah, I, I wasn't happy, but then the stats... It wasn't as bulky as, as Cantonian slow bro, so... I think that, that was alright, and it's not that offensive either. 100 special attack isn't the greatest, so... Not too bad that it got quick draw. It can be annoying, but... There we go. So I'm actually going to be focusing more on the Cantonian Slowbro, because this is the Pokemon that I'm going to be using in the coming week, uh, because we've only got one more re week of Rillaboom, and I want to try out this set uh, with the Grassy Seeds to be able to boost up the defenses. This is going to be basically like a Ferrothorn or a Corviknight, so that you can just Iron Defense once, and then you have just one because they can't break you anymore. And you also get to go for Calm Mind as well, so you get to boost both your defenses and your offense, and then you've got Healing with Slack Off as well. It's pretty much the set that a Mega Slowbro would go for. Mega Slowbro would be able to do it much better, but then it's kind of the same thing with Grassy Seed, because you get, I think you get slightly more defense than a Mega Slowbro would with that investment anyway. Um, so technically slightly better than Mega Slowbro, even though you're not actually as specially offensive, but that won't matter if you can't be KO'd. So yeah, only one more week to use the Grassy Seed, so Probably not going to be able to use that set um, in the in the Series 6 that's probably coming up. Uh, although you could definitely just replace the Grassy Seed with something like a Key Berry. That would achieve the same thing. Maybe you don't even need the, the plus one defense if you're going for Iron Defenses anyway. You may not need that and you can just go for something like Leftovers. Uh, I'm going to make use of the Grassy Seed while I still can for this final week. Uh, before Rillaboom disappears for a little while. And yeah, this, this set is just built to be unkillable and... If you take care of all the threats to, to a Pokemon, then you, you have just one. You've seen what happens uh, with certain Pokemon like the Corviknight and Frothorn, etc. So, yeah, this this set, I think, is quite self-explanatory. You just boost, and then you just eventually win. And so you'll be putting up uh, putting out decent damage output when you go for, uh, for a couple of Calm Minds, which you should be able to do with the correct support, because you'll have a... Well, for a week, you'll have a Rillaboom that does have Fake Out Pressure, so you'll be able to get... Uh, a free boost with the Iron Defense or the Calm Mind, but yeah, that's going to disappear soon, but still, still should be an entirely viable set. So the other one, if you want to just go with the Trick Room Slowbro, because that's pr probably what you would be knowing uh, Slowbro to be going for, and you can go for a pretty standard Scalded and Psyshock, just going for the coverage there. I put Psyshock over Expanding Force because indeed he is also disappearing for a little while, uh, so Psyshock will be slightly better than Expanding Force, because you probably won't be getting Psychic Terrain up too much, so, Psyshock being able to hit the defenses, rather than the special defenses, could be quite beneficial. And got the weakness policy as well. The idea would be, pair it with something like a Moongus, and have a Moongus no absorb, and then you absorb yourself. So you can Rage Powder Trick Room, and then you can absorb Dynamax and go for big attacks with the Scold and the Psyshock. Or Max Geyser and Mindstorm, in that case. And then, you've got Slack Off there, because if you've got Recovery, it's usually a good idea to have Recovery as well. But I think the... Set up Iron Defense, uh, Calm Mind 1. It's probably going to be a little bit better than this Slowbro. I was going to say that you should probably use something like Porygon 2 over this Slowbro. Uh, but yeah, we don't have Porygon 2 anymore. So maybe this picks up a little bit because one of the, the better Trick Room setters is gone. Like Dusclops is still there, but that's not actually very good and people are brainwashed. But yeah, this, this is an entirely reasonable Slowbro. Especially with the, the Moongus that could proc its weakness policy as well. Uh, it could, you could go slightly more supportive. Yawn is always a fantastic move, especially with Dynamax now. And Heal Pulse is a, a move you don't see too often. You get Pollen Puff on Amoongus, but a lot of people don't even use Pollen Puff. They use Sludge Bomb for some reason, even though why would you sacrifice a Heal Pulse? But there we go. Uh, yeah, Heal Pulse could definitely be beneficial if you go for a, a little bit more of a bulky Slowbro instead. So I use my previous spread for this Trick Room uh, setter, and you just have the, the stabs and then have either Yawn or Heal Pulse to be a bit more supportive. But we'll move on to the Galarian Slowbro now. Uh, with the with the Quick Claw, uh, you want to be uh, making use of the, the Quick Draw and the Quick Claw combination as much as you can. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do stack. I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident in that. Pretty sure that, that is the case. And if it is the case, then it's a 44% chance that you'll be moving first in your priority bracket, which will be... Like, that, that's decent odds. That's better than a Skull Burn. That's better than a Rock Slide Flinch. So, that's entirely reasonable. So, just got the, the, the stabs here with the Shell Sidearm. Very, very cool attack with the Shell Sidearm. Being able to attack uh, the defense or the special defense. It's really cool. It's kind of like Photon Geyser, but slightly better than Photon Geyser in terms of being able to hit the, 
um, defense or special defense because it doesn't rely on your your attack or special attack it relies on their defense or special defense it is really cool so yeah i've got surf there as well the idea is to pair this with a gastrodon uh, in trick room so you'd be just be going for for surf spam because the defenses of the Slowbro, uh, Galarian Slowbro, are slightly worse than the uh, the Cantonian Slowbro, you just want to be going on the offense with this Slowbro. Try and get the quick lore activations if you can. Uh, serve your own uh, Gastrodon. You can still do the supportive stuff that the previous Cantonian Slowbro could have done, uh, but yeah, you just really want to be just going on the offense, trying to trying to get those quick lore or quick draw activations so that you can just put nice damage out onto the field. But then, if you really want to put nice damage out onto the field, you can really, really cheese it with the Quick Claw and Quick Draw. If you get a Belly Drum up, if you just go full support with the Slowbro, so you just go like full Follow Me Rage Powder and just commit completely to the Slowbro, getting the Belly Drum off, you can pretty much sweep. If you if you get the Belly Drum and then you get a Quick Claw or Quick uh, Quick Draw activation, that's a KO Pokemon. If you click Earthquake, it might be two KO Pokemon. So uh, definitely not the most consistent for sure but could immediately win games if you get the the quick activation then you could definitely be sweeping some games uh, but i'm going to be using the the cantonian slowbro in this coming week like i said uh, i had the idea with the grassy seed and this is the last week to use it for a little while so i'm going to be using that with a rillaboom as well and come for this coming for uh not fun conventional for this coming believe in boyt but for the next fun conventional please go into the comments and like the pokemon that you want to be featured on the next fun conventional the three options will be thievel Silvalli, and alolan raichu but i will cover cantonian raichu as well if it wins uh, if there's a galarian form or an alolan form then i'll cover both of the pokemon but yeah thievel, thievel Silvalli, and the raichus uh, go and like the, the comment that you want to be featured in the next Fun Conventional. Also, please go and put into the comments the Pokemon that you want to be featured for the next poll as well. And like those comments, because I do base it on the likes for which will be featured into the next the next poll. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to using this Slowbro.